Hey y'all, welcome back to John Maddox Outdoors. Uh, today I want to talk about a little another upgrade I'm fixing to do here. Uh, I'm out here cleaning up from the aftermath of uh, Crappie Fest. Uh, me and my son happened to be able to pull out a fourth place in that deal. So uh, congratulations to all the winners. The winners had uh, 2.44 pound crappie. That was first and second place. And the uh, third and fourth place had 2.43. And uh, we were forcing us to come out with a fourth place finish in that deal. And it was a great time. But uh, I just want to talk about an upgrade I'm going to do to the boat. Uh, as you can see here, I've chosen to go lithium batteries for trolling motor batteries. Uh, right now I have three group 27 12 volt lead acid batteries in there and I need to drop some weight. Uh, I'm not real happy with the with the whole shot of my boat when you got you know two 26 gallon tanks back here full of fuel, live well full of crappie, two uh, over 200 pound anglers in here. It's, it's kind of rough getting up on plane and uh, I really don't want to get into chasing the prop game so I'm just gonna lose some weight here in the back so so the reason I chose to go with the two 36 volt batteries over 312s was uh, basically you can see I can do the same thing with one or two batteries that I have to use three with 12 volts with 12 volt batteries you have to use three of them to get your 36 volts that's whatever that's what everybody has to do to get 36 volts to the trolling motor. You, you got to configure something for 36 volts. In 12 volt batteries, it takes three of them. You can do it with one 36, or you can do it with two 36s and double your capacity. So that's what I decided to do. And uh, the 12 volt batteries that I were looking at were 100 amp hour, which is the same physical size as these, but I would need three of them instead of two of them. So. Uh, that's why I chose this. <coughs> I had to sneeze. Uh, the typical arguments of some of the guys that that, uh, that like the 300 or the 312 volt batteries, they say, well, if something goes wrong, you can find a 12 volt battery. Yeah, that's true, but uh, you usually can't mix and match lithiums and lead acid or whatever. It's, it's, it's not good to mix and match batteries. You kind of want to start with the same brand, the same type, and uh, go from there. And uh, you know they say, well, what if your what if your battery dies and uh, you need 12 volts to jump it off? Well, I have a 100 amp electronics battery that's 12 volt that I can jump the motor off with, or I also carry a jump box in this boat just for that just for that uh, occasion. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put up some uh, numbers here, and uh, we're gonna go through them on the screen to to show you some amperages uh, of different type battery setups you know you got you got your three 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries some people use three 12 volt 50 amp hour batteries and some people's using 36s you know theoretically I could run my trolling motor all day off of one of these 55 amp hour batteries and uh, we're going to go through this chart and I'm just going to show you some simple simple electrical calculations that show the numbers on each of these type battery setups so uh, y'all stay with us and watch this so let's talk about lithium batteries right quick so popular lithium batteries for 36 volt trolling motor there's a few different configurations that uh, there is out there and we're going to look at a few of them here so the first one is the 12.8 volt 50 amp hour and uh, you get your 36 volts by using three of those um, if you do the basic electrical calculations, 12.8 times 50 is 640 watts. So 640 watts times 3 is 1920 watts of available power that you have with that configuration right there. Then you go to the next one, that's a 12.8 volt 100 amp hour configuration. You have to use three of those also. 12.8 times 100 amp hours is 1280 watts. So 1280 watts times 3 is 3840 watts of available power you have in that package so if you move on to the next one which is a 138.4 volt 55 amp hour battery is what is one of the ones i chose so you do the 38.4 times 58 amps that's 212 watts of usable power in that package and then you can go on to the next one where you can use two 36 volt 55 amp hour batteries that gives you 38.4 times 55, that's 212 watts per battery. 
212 watts times two, that's 4,224 watts that you have to work with in that battery configuration there to run your trolling motor. And here's just a simple chart that compares the three right there, and, and you can see that, that the 36 volt offers more power than the rest of them. And one that surprised me right here is 138.4 volt 55 amp battery actually offers more power than three 12 volt 50 amp hour batteries. So uh, that was kind of surprising to me, but uh, I just wanted to put these numbers up here where you could see uh, an actual mathematic comparison for each of the battery types to run these 36 volt batteries or 36 volt trolling motors rather. I just want to go over why I picked this this battery, the Lee Time. I've done a lot of research, been doing a lot of looking, watching YouTube videos and, and guys that tear these apart. And the major difference in your lithium batteries is construction. Most of the lithium cells are all made in the same plant overseas. And um, everybody buys from, from just a few different places that make the lithium cells. The main thing in these lithium batteries is construction and uh, the battery management system, which is called a BMS. That's the main difference in these batteries. Uh, most of them have the same cells in them. They just have different BMSs and different construction types. I've watched the guys on YouTube tear these lead times apart and they are all impressed with the quality of construction and, uh, and how they're put together in the BMS system in them. This battery does not have Bluetooth capability, which I don't care. I really don't. It really wasn't a selling factor to me to have the Bluetooth capability to look at an app on my phone because I'm the type of fisherman when I get home, I get my, my cord, I plug my chargers in and I let them charge till the next time I go fishing. That's just the type I am. So that's, that's why that wasn't important to me. But these batteries do have a low temperature cutoff. They have a high temperature cutoff. It's supposed to be a quality BMS. And the selling point for me is they were under half of what some of your major manufacturers charge for the same battery. So I got two batteries for what I could basically get, not even a full battery in the other ones. Some of, some of them are twice as high as these. So the, the cost was a selling point for me on this. I'm not a professional fisherman. So if I get out there and, and one of these batteries go bad, I can take a few minutes and just switch everything to the other one, you know? And uh, with this type setup, I have two different options I can hook them up. I can either run 36 off of one battery or I can run them together and have 36 with double the capacity. Either way I wanna do it. I'm gonna hook them up uh, parallel, positive, positive, negative, negative for my 36 volts. And then I'll have double the capacity is what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna re be replacing those these three Continental 27, group 27, uh, batteries that are really heavy and uh, I'm gonna be losing a lot of weight in this boat so I'm not gonna bore you with all the install and everything so uh, I'm gonna get into this take a picture of the builds and show you what it looks like now it's it's not messy but it's it's busy uh, and I don't like busy it's there's lots of wires running from battery to battery here and there and uh, I'm gonna try to simplify things I'll have one jumper from positive positive one jumper from negative to negative and then I'll have the negative to the trolling motor coming off this battery and a positive to the trolling motor coming off this battery that's going to simplify things a whole lot so uh, y'all stay with us and I'll show you the finished product thanks so as you can see looking down into the build here it's full. I mean, I, I'm i sticking with the 12 volt AGM cranking battery just, just because it's a good battery. And, and uh, some of the motor manufacturers are, are not recommending lithium for cranking batteries. So I'm gonna leave it as the cranking battery for right now. And it's running live wells, power pole pumps, and other stuff like that. So I'm gonna leave it for right now. And, uh, but if you can see, there's just, there's a lot going on down here, you know. Wires running everywhere, it'd be hard to trace if I ever did have a problem. So I'm gonna clean this up and uh, I'll show you that. All right, we're gonna do a weight comparison. I just got the 327 group Continental batteries out and uh, 
I'm going to weigh one of them and then weigh one of these lithiums and uh, we're going to calculate and see how much weight we're going to lose out of the back of this boat. So here is the 27, group 27 Continental 12 volt. Well, it basically said 50 pounds. 49.8, so we're going to call that 50 pounds. Now let's weigh the the 36 volt lithium. And it weighs 30.4 pounds. So, 50 pounds times 3 is 100 that's 150 pounds and the other ones was 34 a piece so that's 68 so minus 68 we're losing 82 pounds losing 82 pounds out of the back of the boat by doing this which uh, that's a lot when you talk about weight in the back of a boat so uh, I'm gonna continue on till I get this finished so appreciate you hanging around so I just mentioned we were losing 82 pounds out of the out of the passenger side of the boat there. So, you know, it don't sound like much when you say it real fast, but if you think about it, 82 pounds out of that side of the boat, that's the difference between, and between running that tank all the way full and half full. And anybody that's got a bass boat knows that, that uh, fuel is heavy. So this boat has two 26 gallon tanks. So that would be like me running that side half full of gas which makes a whole lot of difference so now i can run it full and it'll be the same effect as running a half tank so uh 26 gallons of fuel at six pounds of gallons 156 pounds on that side plus the 150 pounds of battery we had was 306 pounds on the passenger side then you had a 200 pound rider in there so you're looking at 500 pounds on the passenger side of this boat which which was a lot. Now, there ain't much I can do about the driver's side because it's got the same tank behind it. Now we're gonna have a 30, group 34, I think it is, AGM for cranking. And then we have a small 100 amp hour lithium on this side, plus 26 gallons of fuel, plus my big butt in the passenger seat. So there's not a whole lot we can do about the, the driver's side right now, but uh, we are working on the passenger side. So I was just thinking to myself, 82 pounds don't sound like a lot, but when you when you start cal calculating everything you have in the boat, I mean, these uh, these bass cats, the dual tanks in the back, the live wells are absolutely huge. So when you fill both both those live wells up with water, I mean, that's a ton of weight right there. I bet that's close to 200 pounds right there with the live wells full. So uh, any little bit of help. So I'm gonna put these batteries in there and then uh, later on I'll change the cranking battery to a lithium when. Uh, when it starts going bad but uh it hadn't started going bad yet but uh and the reason i'm changing these trolling batteries uh batteries because i happen to have three pieces of equipment needs a battery my pontoon boat needs one my tractor needs one and my camper trailer needs one so they're not going to waste they're going to be put to use in different applications I, i'm not a wasteful person but so they have places to go i'm not just getting rid of them and uh so y'all stay with us and let's keep putting these batteries in. I'll show you the end result. One other thing I wanted to bring up about these lithium batteries. I know I look forward every year to, to January, February, watching the, the Bass Pros all get their new boats and go through all their battery setups and everything. And they, you know, they got two 12 volts. They got a 16 volt running electronics. They got multiple batteries running their 36 volt trolling motors they got backup systems they got everything you can think of uh, they got a lot of money in batteries in some of these boats and, and i'm not a professional so my life doesn't depend on whether my trolling motor is working out there or not so uh that's the reason i chose to go with a with a cheaper uh a cheaper cost battery and uh here in about six months i'm gonna do another review on these batteries and tell you how they're doing but uh Right now we're going to get them hooked up and uh, let's see how that goes. Thanks. All right. Got all that done. So I'm going to show you all the finished product. It ain't beautiful, but 
we did clean the bilge up a whole lot back here got rid of a whole lot of wires uh, really happy with how everything turned out so far so here's a picture with the two lithiums 36 volt 55 amp hour and then we have a 100 amp hour lithium running the electronics and then we still got the the pro guide agm doing the cranking so i'm just going to show y'all how it turned out So one thing I didn't mention before we started this project was uh, if you get 36 volt batteries, you do have to have a separate 36 volt charger. So keep that in mind. If you, if you go on the 36 volt route, you can't use uh, your current charger. And in this boat, it has a Minn Kota Precision and it will charge AGM or lithium. So I have the 100 amp hour battery that's running my electronics uh, charging off the Minn Kota Precision. And then the lead time 36s. I have a battery charger right there. That's charging the that's charging the two 36 volt batteries. So uh, I'm gonna stay out here and monitor and make sure I don't have a fire. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, but turned out well. Uh, so I hope in this video I explain to y'all why I went with the 236s instead of the 3100s. Main thing, just to recap that, was uh, space and weight savings. So, so the main reason I did the battery swap that I did and, and chose the 36 volt 55 amp hour over, let's say, 3100 uh, amp hour 12 volts is uh, also weight savings. Uh, the majority of the 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries are around 28 to 30 pounds a piece which you know three of those that's going to be close to 90 pounds and uh these two 36 volt 55 amp hours is a uh, 68 pounds so that's about a 20 pound saving itself right there it saves weight it saves space saves wire uh but you did have to get a different charger so We'll, uh, we'll come back and revisit these here in a few months after I've used them for a little while. And uh, I'll give you an honest review on them. If they're junk, I'm going to tell you they're junk. And uh, I took a chance on buying the, the cheaper lithium batteries over some of the name brands. But uh, that's just a choice I made to try to save some money on this build. And uh, so in six months, we'll revisit this. And I really appreciate y'all joining me. I know there wasn't no fishing in this, but... Uh, you know, there's other there's other part of the outdoors other than just actually catching a fish. So I well enjoyed this uh, video that maybe it shed some light on lithium batteries for some people, you know, that are that are questioning things. I know I was. I had a hard time figuring out, you know, 100 amp hour, 50, 50 amp hour, you know, 12 volt, 36 volt. There's just so many choices out there, and there's so many brands out there. You know, you got your higher end brands that. Uh, you know, you see one of the guys at MLF or Bassmasters pull out of the water and they got it plastered on their boat, you know. So uh, you got those brands and then you got the cheap ones like I got. And these had pretty good reviews from from uh, some of the guys that tear them apart on, uh, on the Internet. So uh, we'll see if they work. And in about, I don't know, a couple months, I'll give you, a, I'll give you an honest review. If they're junk, I'll tell you they're junk. If they're good, I'll tell you they're good. So I appreciate y'all joining me. If you hadn't done so, please hit the like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.